welcome participants from Camp Turf. The turf part of Camp Turf stands for Tomorrow's Undergraduates Realizing Their Futures. This camp is designed to introduce high school students to the many aspects of horticulture. As part of their experience, they get to come out here with us and shoot a segment for Oklahoma Gardening. Today they're going to help us with a beautification project in our parking lot. Hello, my name is Annie Blassengabe. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Ann Shecker. Hi, I'm Kaylee Tillery. Hi, I'm Brantley McCard. I'm Hi, I'm Peyton Burns. Hi, my name is Jessica Maddox. My name is Kenzie Williams. Hi, my name is Erin McCaffrey. Hi, I'm Godwin Chicoya. Hi, I'm Laura Young. Hi, I'm Amber Norlin. My name is Bailey Anderson. Hi, my name is Sean Sprague. Hi, my name is Mariah Ray. Hi, I'm Ratana Jala. My name is Nathan Phillips. My name is Bethany. I'm Sarah Hunsaker, and I'm going to teach you how to plant a plant properly. Hi, this is Sarah Hobson, and I'm going to teach you how to properly plant a pot of plant of plant. Hello, my name is Colton Reed, and I will teach you how to plant a plant. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Sajaka, and today I'll be showing you how to plant a plant properly. Now, the first thing we want to do here is actually figure out the spot where we want our plant, and then we have to dig a hole two to three times as large as the pot itself. So what we want to do here is take our shovel and start digging the hole. First, we want to look at the size of your pot. You want to look at your pot to see how big it is. Okay, so first you're going to move the plant aside because you don't want to be digging right under it. And do three to uh, two to three times the size of your plant around. You're going to make it nice so it fits right in there. And you're going to go two to three times wider than what it is. So that the roots will have room to grow. You've got to dig a hole and you want to make it big enough for the plant but not too deep because if it's too deep the roots will rot. If it's too shallow it will the roots will be exposed and dry out and will kill the plant. So the roots can spread out and grow bigger and this will help the plant Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be too deep. You just want as high as the soil in the pot is with the plant. Once you think you have it big enough, you put the pot inside the hole and see if it's at ground level. Now, if it's at ground level, it's good. This is not yet. I have to fill it back in a little bit. Now, look at it again. Still needs a little bit more. Then next you're going to kind of squeeze around the pot, break it up, and then just kind of tip it out so you don't mess it up. Next you're going to break up the root so it, uh, it grows properly. You don't want to like pull the plant by the stem because it could break it, so you just want to squeeze it out. Hi little bee. You're going to take the plant and hold it upside down. You don't want, what you don't want to do is pull the plant out by the leaves because that then the plant will just come straight out and you will uproot it, which would kill the plant. So you want to hold it upside down and squeeze the pot until it, gravity brings it out. And then you want to separate the roots because if you don't, they'll eventually go around in circles around themselves and that will kill the plant. So once you've done that, it's okay if some soil falls into the hole. You want to make sure that it's ground, it, the top of the plant should be the same level as the ground, which mine's a little bit deeper, so I'm going to fill it in some. And then you place the plant in and spread, make sure the roots are spread out. Because if the roots aren't broken up, they'll coil around each other, called a girdle, and then ultimately kill the plant. And when you're done packing in all the soil, you have to water it in really well to keep it alive. And then to help still the watering, you should put some mulch on top. Um, then you want to just kind of push the mulch in around it. And then you're going to come back and put some mulch on it and water it really good. And you get to watch your plant grow. And that is the proper way to plant a plant. And also to make sure to water it or else it's just going to dry up and die. What you do at the end is you want to water it so it's not put into shock from being transplanted from the plant, from the pot to the bed. So. 
Yeah, this water. Hope it grows. And that's how you plant a plant. And that's the proper way to plant a plant. And make sure you water it really good. And that's how you plant a plant.